In the autumn of 2016, EPFL opened a new experimental pavilion to bridge art and science. As a part of the inaugural exhibition, different research labs of the university were asked to contribute reactions to the artworks of Pierre Soulages under the theme Noir c'est noir, is black black? These iconic black canvases, or outre noir as the artist calls them, prime the whole exhibition. It is through the interaction of light and matter that these artworks become vividly alive, despite their intense blackness. Imagine taking that blackness away, leaving a completely transparent surface. This is where our installation begins, with a high-resolution, 3D-scanned, pigmentless outre noir, shifting the focus to light in space. This object creates intricate light patterns that appear as random and chaotic, and they become visible and alive when illuminating the transparent surface by a flashlight. However, these caustic refractions don't have to be random. The second object of the installation is designed to create a perfectly circular shadow in the middle of the transparent square. At first, this seems impossible, but looking at the shape of the lens, it makes intuitive sense. The concave shape bends the light away from the center, creating the dark shadow. We call this piece the black hole, an analogy to how a cosmic black hole bends light. But light can also be bent to create more complex patterns. The third object pays homage to the long history of scientific inquiry and advancement in the field of optics research. An illustration of a concave mirror by Leonardo da Vinci is encoded in this transparent plate. Minute details of the drawing and even the handwritten text become visible when illuminated. But when looking at the plate itself, one cannot decipher this image on its surface. This surprising effect is achieved thanks to an advanced computer algorithm developed at EPFL. Through careful calculation of complex light-matter interactions, we can create any light image by shaping transparent material. The last piece, rotating slowly at the end of the room, is the culmination of these light sculptures. As the object turns, a photographic image of two observers in front of an artwork morphs into shape. The interaction between the art and the observer, mediated by light and space, all come together here. Whereas the large black paintings by Soulage in the room next door come to life in the eye of the observer through interaction of light and space, this series of caustic sculptures pushes this idea to the extreme, splitting the visual motif from the sculptural, only rendering it visible through user interaction.